Welcome back. Today in the Hot Sauce, we are devoting the topic of conversation to Mark's brother, Richard, uh, who actually has MS. Tell us about him. You know what? Uh, it's my older brother. I love him dearly. And for 25 years, he's been putting up uh, uh, with this horrific uh, uh, illness. And uh, he's doing well, though. You know, he's doing well. You know, he, he has some parts where remission, and then he think that it can get a little bit worse, and then he's back in remission. So. Uh, I'm proud of him, though, not that keep, keeps him down. And you've become an advocate almost for MS. Of course, as we mentioned, Buffalo has the second highest rate of MS right. in the entire nation. You're standing there, uh, I guess, in an event with News Force Jackie Walker, who also has ultimately become an advocate. Tell us why it's so important for you. Well, I'll tell you, you do have a champion uh, right here at Channel 4 with Jackie Walker. I mean, she's been doing a lot of things. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not only for... Uh, money, but it's also to raise money for research to find a cure for this uh, debilitating uh, disease. And you're sitting on a committee at UB, uh, the MS Society, correct? The the MS Society, the uh, uh, I'm on a committee actually with the legislator in Albany oh, okay. to try to gear towards uh, funding for uh, MS research. And we brought in Linda Safran, Saf Safran, 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 thank you, from the University at Buffalo Foundation, and you guys have been working very closely together. Tell us about your relationship. Well, for me, uh, when I met at the Jacobs Institute, uh, uh, telling about the actual funding that's needed, uh, what we're focusing on, I believe, is going to be the environmental concerns. We kind of scratched the surface a little bit, mm -hmm. but because of those uh, statistics of being so high, you got to get to the root cause, so that's what we're going to focus on. And, and Linda, tell us your story. You, uh, do you have MS also? Yes, I do have MS, and I, uh, like many people, it takes many years and many seeing many doctors and many symptoms before being diagnosed. I was diagnosed only three years ago. Most people are diagnosed in their late 20s or early 30s, and I'm a little older than I that. I don't want to ask you to reveal your age <laughs> if you don't want to, That's but okay. I mean, what is the difference here? I mean, there's obviously some sort of a disconnect. Do we know what that is? Well, it's, it, it, it points to the fact that there is still so much to be learned about, about MS. And it, it, it's probably a combination of many factors. It's a combination of vitamin D deficiency, um, high cholesterol, smoking, um, genetic factors, and also um, environmental factors that right. we want to look at. More than 2,000 people in Erie County alone have this debilitating disease. I mean, this, that's a high and startling number. Do we know why it's so high here? We don't, and I think that that's why uh, the Institute, in and, and, and conjunction with UB, has decided to, we need to take a look at other factors, and that's why they were saying some sort of environmental research to actually get to the, try to get to the root cause is important. Where can we go to learn more, and tell us about some of the, the uh, resources that are out there? Well, the upstate um, New York chapter of the National MS Society certainly has a lot of information, uh, and on, on their website and on the national website, and also UB's the Department of Neurology. I think you're going to have some information about that on your crawl. But we, if people are interested in supporting research directly, they certainly can contribute to UB the Department of Neurology MS. You brought your walker along with you. Tell me yes. how this has been such a lifeline for you, a crutch almost. Well, a crutch, yes. Uh, three years ago when I was diagnosed, I was not, I was not even using a cane and so now I have progressed to a walker and sometimes a scooter. The word progress and progress used to be a positive word to me, no longer. Um, mm -hmm. And so we really do need to find answers um, before uh, so many people are need to use devices, are in wheelchairs, and have to be in nursing homes well before their time. And we thank you for sharing your story. Of course, we'll link you to all this information on wingingit.tv. But for now, let's send things over to Emily, who's standing by with a check of what's happening on wingingit.tv. Hey, Emily.